Hi, I'm Kenda and I'm an expat from Atlanta, Georgia, who moved to Cabo San Lucas, Mexico. And my husband and I were just talking yesterday about how we couldn't believe from the time we bought our first house, it's almost been 10 years. So we went back and forth between Atlanta and Mexico for about six years and we've been here full time for almost four, it's hard to believe. So anyway, uh, I love living in Cabo. It is a beautiful town, rich in culture, rich in uh, great foods and entertainment and many, many things to do here. It's, it's just been such a delight to live here. But one of the things that I really struggle with is shopping. It, you would think in a luxury town like Cabo San Lucas, we would be able to find clothes very easily and just like it would be a, not a big deal. But that was one of the culture shock things that I dealt with when I first moved here. And, and for many years, I have just been making trips back to the United States to buy my clothes. Um, I would start making a list of things that I needed. And then maybe once or twice a year, I would go to the United States and buy clothes. Everything here falls into, in my experience, falls into one of two categories, either super cheap and falls apart and is not sized properly and very trendy. Um, Mexican women, um, I, I really respect and um, look at their style and I'm just in awe because it's very colorful. It's actually quite sexy, lots of really tight clothes, low cut things. Um, and they can pull it off and they and they look amazing. Um, I am getting to the age where that is not okay for me. Um, I am almost 55 years old. Ah, can't believe I just said that, but I'm almost 55 years old. And while I still really want to be trendy and I really want to look good, um, I'm a real estate agent. I have to look sharp on point everywhere I go. I don't want to try, look like I'm trying to be 20. So the other thing that has happened as I've gotten a little bit older in, in my life um, is my body is changing. I used to have a great stomach and no big booty and nice perky boobs. And I used to have all of those great chiseled arms and things like that. I did. I don't anymore. And as hard as I try to get those things, I think they might be a thing of the past. Don't leave me messages saying, yes, if you work hard enough, you can have six pack abs. I know that I was a personal trainer for about 14 years. So I know if I work hard enough, I can get it. I'm just at a point in my life where I don't, I don't have time for that. So what I'd rather do is shop. <laughs> so I like to shop for things that kind of hide all of the changing elements in my body. And there are many. So I have people reach out to me all the time on my social media and say, where'd you get that outfit? Or, wow, I love your dress, that's so cute. What did you do? Did you get that around here? And most of the time the answer is I bought it online or I bought it when I was in the States. But I started thinking it might be helpful if I do a little, um, little video every once in a while about where I get my clothes, how I put them together, how I dress for my 55 year old body, um, and it might be interesting to some people, even if it just helps a few people who live here who struggle to shop. And then also, you know, even if you're in the United States and you have more options than you can um, ever hope for, or in Canada or London or wherever you are and you have tons of options, um, it may still give you some sort of entertainment when you laugh at how I try to hide my belly. So anyway, so that's what this channel is going to be about. I hope you'll hang in there and join me and if you have any questions about anything that i'm wearing let me know some things i buy here most things i buy online i get a lot from amazon um we're going to talk about shein i get i get a lot of things from shein because they are quick and they're light and they're inexpensive but they still can look professional if you know what you're looking for and what to what to pick so um uh, I also get H&M and some Zara and a little bit of mango um, that I get delivered here too. So I will be showing you uh, some of my outfits, how I style them and how I would use them professionally. So I hope you'll subscribe.